Hey guys, it's Lou here. Welcome back to another crochet tutorial. Today we are making these leaves for the hanging strawberries. So each leaf consists of one, two, three leaflets, and it's all continuously crocheted in one go. For these smaller ones, I've used a 3.5 millimeter hook. And you can also follow the same pattern, but go up a hook size or two for larger leaves. So this one, two, three leaflet leaf is slightly larger. I believe this is made with a 4.5 millimeter hook. And then this one is with a 3.5 millimeter hook. So same pattern, different size hooks for slightly different size leaves. Let's get our materials ready and make some strawberry leaves. The yarn I'm using is called I Love This Cotton. It's from Hobby Lobby, number four medium worsted weight cotton yarn. And I've lost the label for this one, but it's the same brand. It's slightly darker green. And hook size, let's start with the 3.5 millimeters. And you can also go up a size or two for slightly larger leaves, like I said earlier. These smaller ones are 3.5. And this larger one, it's the same pattern, but with a larger hook. This, I believe, is a 4.5 millimeter hook. Okay, and then also get some scissors. Yarn needle for when you're done with the leaves and you want to sew it to the soil. As well as two stitch markers. Okay, let's start with a slip knot and chain five for the step. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to mark this top loop of the first chain from our hook. And this is going to be at the base here where all three leaflets join. They all slip stitch to this marked top loop. And then we're going to chain six more for the first leaflet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, six. And then mark the first, the top loop of the first chain. And this is just going to be the first stitch you use for this line, middle line down the first leaflet. You don't have to mark it, but I just wanted you guys to see where it is when we make that middle line. Okay, so now you've, you've chained five for the stem, chain six for the first leaflet. Then we're going to skip the first two chains of our hook. Into the top loop of the third chain, we're going to make two double crochets. One and two. Into the next top loop, two double crochets. One and two. And into the next top loop, a double crochet and a half double crochet. One double and a half double. We're going to chain one. This is the first half of our first leaflet. We're going to slip stitch to the next chain, but the bottom loop. So insert your hook into the bottom loop here. Make a slip stitch. And then put your working yarn underneath this stem and the tail. Rotate your work 180. And now we're going to pretty much do the same thing that we did on the first half of the first leaflet, but in reverse and make the second half. So chain one, going to work in the second, the next top loop, put a half double crochet and a double crochet. A half double crochet and a double. Into the next top loop, two double crochets. Same thing, next top loop, two double crochets. And then we're going to skip the next two loops, next two stitches. Now we're going to slip stitch to the first double crochet we made from the first half. That's just to the left of where you marked it with the blue. So this is the first double crochet from the first half. I'm going to slip stitch 
to that double crochet stitch. And then we're going to make this middle line here using surface slip stitches. And they're very easy if you've never made one before. Uh, let's just follow along. Okay, so the first surface slip stitch goes into this top loop of where you marked. Insert your hook into that top loop, go all the way through to the back, the wrong side, and then yarn over underneath, bring it through to the front, and also through that loop on your hook. So that's a surface slip stitch. You have your working yarn coming up from underneath the leaf, and you insert your hook from the front to the back. Okay, the next stitch, next top loop is a little bit harder to see. Um, it's just after this first top loop and before the next top loop that's opened up by these two double crochets. So that's right here. Insert your hook and wiggle it around and it'll go in there. Yarn over underneath. Pull through to the front and pull through the loop on your hook for a surface slip stitch. So that's one, two. The third one is easy to see. You can just insert your hook into where these double crochets go into. That's the next top loop. That's three. The next one is also very easy. That's four. Fifth one is easy to see as well. And then the sixth one is very difficult to see, but you can just kind of insert your hook into that area right after the previous stitch, just kind of in that general area, wiggle it around and it'll go in. If you can't see it, you can pull your work apart Pull your chain apart, and that's, I don't know if you can see it here from the camera, that's where that stitch is. So insert your hook in that area, wiggle it around, and it'll go in. Yarn over underneath, pull through, pull through. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six surface slip stitches for this middle line. Then the seventh one goes into where you marked it with the orange. You don't even need to take out the stitch marker. Down over underneath, bring it to the front. That's the seventh surface slip stitch. So now you're done with the first leaflet. Isn't that cute? Let's continue with the middle one. It's pretty much the same, but it has two more double crochets in the first one, which is the same size as the third one. Okay, so we'll chain seven for this middle leaflet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can mark the top loop of that first chain from your hook if you want, just to help you see where to start the middle line. Skip the first two chains into the top loop of the third chain, make one double crochet. Into the next top loop, two double crochets. One, two. Same thing, next top loop, two double crochets. One, two. The next top loop, a double crochet and a half double crochet. This is the double and a half double. Then we'll chain one. Same thing as we did for the first leaflet. Insert your hook into the next stitch for the bottom loop. Slip stitch and then move your working yarn underneath everything. So underneath this uh, stem and the first leaflet, rotate your work 180 to work on the second half of the second leaflet. And it's pretty much the same thing but in reverse. So we'll chain one. Into the next top loop, we're going to do a half double and a double crochet. Next top loop, two double crochets. Next top loop, two double crochets. Next top loop, one double crochet. And then we'll skip the next two stitches. One, two, those two chains and slip stitch to the first double crochet from the first half of the second leaflet. 
that's just to the left of where you marked it with the blue. Slip stitch. And then make our line down the middle. First stitch goes into where you marked it, that first top loop. Second stitch goes into the next one. And the third, fourth, and fifth are easy to see. Fourth, fifth, and sixth are easy to see. Seventh surface slip stitch goes into the next top loop, which is here. You don't even need to see it. You can just wiggle your hook and it'll go in there. And I'll over pull through. And then we'll slip stitch to the same top loop of where you marked it with the orange. The same one we used for the first leaflet. Slip stitch to that top loop. And now you're done with the middle leaflet. That was easy, huh? Then let's make the last one. The third one is exactly the same as the first leaflet. So let's chain six. One, oops, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll mark that first top loop for the first stitch used for the middle line. Skip the next two chains. Skip the first two chains, I mean. Into the third chain, we're going to make two double crochets. Next top loop, two double crochets. Next top loop, a double crochet and a half double crochet. Chain one, slip stitch to the next bottom loop. Move your working yarn underneath everything, rotate your work 180. Chain one and start on the second half of the last leaflet. To the next top loop, we'll do a half double crochet and a double crochet. Next top loop, two double crochets. Next top loop, two double crochets. Skip the next two chains. And then we'll slip stitch to this first double crochet from the first half of our third leaflet. Take out the stitch marker and then we're almost done. This is the first stitch to use. First top loop, next top loop. Third, fourth, and fifth are easy to find. The sixth one goes into somewhere over here, just wiggle in your hook and I'll go into the stitch. Okay, and then we slip stitch to where all three leaflets meet. And then we're almost done. You can take out the stitch marker now, this orange stitch marker. Let's make one slip stitch in each of these four back bumps across. The first one's a little bit difficult to get your hook directly into the back bump, and the trick here is to go in one loop at a time. So we'll insert our hook into the front loop from the back side to the front, and then use this part of your hook to go up through the back loop, between the back loop and the back bump, and now you've inserted your hook into the back bump. Yarn over, pull through. That's the first slip stitch. The next one's a little bit easier to make. If you can't get your hook directly into the back bump, again, do one loop at a time, the front loop, back loop, and now your hook is in the back bump. Slip stitch, that's two. Then the next one should be easier. You could probably just get your hook directly into the back bump. 
slip stitch. And one last one. Last back bump, slip stitch. Now you can cut your yarn, pull through. Here is the finished strawberry leaf with one, two, three leaflets and the stem all continuously crocheted. I have another video showing you how to attach the soil to the planter, so make sure to check out that one as well. And in it, I show you how to sew on the leaves and put in the flowers for the hanging strawberries. Let me know if you have any other questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video.